Good morning, Nail Queens. Today, we are doing a Manny Twin Monday. I teamed up with Dip Nails by Jules. I'll leave her channel down below for you guys to go subscribe, but we twinned up. Yes. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did this Manny. I even fixed my bummy thumb and I have peel base over all of my fingers. So I'm just going to go start dipping with the Manny plan that julie and i thought up of together some of it we left up to free reign so you'll notice that i'm dipping in diva dip 8 which is this like light periwinkle not periwinkle lavender color it's almost pink i don't know if it's pink or it's purple you just don't know and on those nails she used um chrome whereas i used diva dip 8 and then I'm dipping in I'm Not What You Pink on this finger so that when I go ahead and I do like the whole gel and chroming on this to get some candy cane stripes, it really pops up. Um, I considered doing it against the Diva Dip 8, the purple color. However, it wouldn't have popped as well as it did with the white. So I'm going to dip all of my fingers twice except for my index, which is my sugar nail. But I'm going to do all that off camera because the artwork part of this takes more time than dipping. And I want you guys to spend time seeing me do the artwork, not really the dipping. Like you've seen me dip probably 20, 100 times. So to get started, I am putting gel top coat on all of like the white nails. So, I mean, there's going to be chrome on these white nails, which is why I made them white. And I'm just going to put gel top and I'm going to flash cure that one for 10 seconds. I don't want to do it too long because then I can't chrome it. So Triple D came out with these dual ended chrome pens. It is like a rose pink and a silver. It is so freaking cool. And you can see the chrome right there on the applicator. You just rub it on your nail just like that. So I'm actually doing a chrome ombre, so a chrome braid, if you will, and I'm rubbing the rose pink at the top. So you notice that the applicator ran out of the chrome. I just shove it back in the cap, which is where the chrome pigment is, and then it like reloads the applicator for me. I'm just rubbing the rose pink on the top half of my nail, and then I'm going to switch to the silver side because I want to ombre them into each other. So it's going to go rose pink, switch to the silver, and then back to the rose pink and back to the silver. When I'm pretty satisfied with that, which I really am, I'm going to cure it for the remainder of the minute. So remember I flash cured for 10 seconds. I need to finish curing because my gel is not totally cured. And now that I'm done, I just gently dust it off. Like you don't want to dust too hard. Do not use a stiff brush when you dust it off. And then reapply another layer of gel top coat and then cure that in your lamp for a whole minute. Adding that extra layer of gel top coat just ensures that you don't have chipping, it doesn't rub off, like your chrome is not indestructible. I wish it was, but it's not. I actually had to call Julie up and ask for help for this. Um, I could not get my line straight to save my life with a nail art brush. And she's like, just stamp it, just stamp it. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a candy cane like design from an Easter stamping plate, go figure. <laughs> and I'm stamping that on my nails because that's going to be my guide of where I put my gel in order for me to do the chrome. So white on white is not so noticeable, but it's noticeable enough for me to be able to paint over it with hopefully no issues. In order for chrome to stick to my nails, I need to do it over a gel top coat. So what I'm taking is this brush that came in the Diva box. Hello, shout out, came in perfect use at the perfect time. And I'm just dabbing it in gel top coat and I'm tracing the lines that I just stamped with that gel top coat. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm only tracing the thicker lines first, and then I'm gonna flash cure that, chrome it, and then go back and trace the thinner lines. I would want to do all of that at one time, but it's practically impossible because my applicator isn't thin enough. So I'm taking the rose pink one and applying it over the lines, and it's clearly proving that I cannot paint a straight line even with a guide to save my life. So please don't judge me, but um, I'm gonna go back and fix those, don't worry. I'm ready for my close-up to show you all of my mistakes. That's what I'm doing. So I'm taking this thin liner brush that I had in my collection and I'm just adding more gel top coat to the areas where I really fudged up. There's clearly some gaps here, guys. Like, I, I'm calling it a line, but it's not a line. So I'm trying, okay? I'm trying the best I can. And then now I'm taking my rose pink applicator and applying the chrome to the missing spots. Using that same thin liner brush, I'm going to paint the really thin lines. Let's hope it doesn't look like a squiggle or a wave. And I'm going to flash cure those and then chrome the silver chrome over it. Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm not Picasso or anything, but you know, it's working. So I'm going to try for the other two lines, flash cure those, and then do the chrome again. All right, this is the closest to candy cane stripes I'm gonna get, so I'm gonna cure it for the full minute and then apply a gel top coat to protect all of my hard work because those stripes were not easy to do, and then cure that again for another minute. There's a lot of curing going on here, my goodness. And then I decided to go with gel top coat on the rest of my nails too, except for my sugar nail, because I wanna make it like have that sugar effect. I will warn you though, from experience, somebody coming through and telling you this after I've done my voiceover and worn this mani. If you're using peel base and you do a sugar nail, yeah, uh, say goodbye to that sugar nail in like 12 hours. So um, yeah. So this is the finished mani. Hi, I think it's gorgeous. Um, I need to find a better way to do sugar nails over peel base. So someone help me. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I want to show you guys what my thumb looks like now that I fixed it. I did a coffee filter tip, which was more difficult than I thought it would be to do such a huge repair. It's not like I chipped the side of my nail. It was a huge repair. So I have a video coming on that soon. So here is my glamour shot of my full mani. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much, Julie, for doing a Manny twin with me. It was so much fun being able to be so creative and really like break down how to do this Manny. I really enjoyed it. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.